little goldies and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. This video today is going to be where I'm showing my completed pages and whips up to date from today. So I don't remember where exactly I left off doing this. I used to do this pretty regularly like maybe once a month or every two months or something like that but it's been a long time since I've actually done one and uh, so I don't remember the last time I did it. So what I thought I would do because I've gotten a lot more new goldies lately over the last couple of months i thought i would just drag out everything that i've colored um all of my books like everything i've colored <laughs> and just kind of show you what i've got from start to finish okay now i'm not going to go in any particular order um i will show you i do know like what i've colored in the beginning and i'll start out with that but otherwise i'm not going to go in any particular order because i don't remember exactly when i did what a lot of the time so anyway what this video is gonna do is I'm gonna show you everything I've colored and um, this is my second crack at doing this video because it's, when I did it before and when I was looking at the footage to edit like I didn't have everything in frame and I if I'm showing pictures I want to make sure that I have everything in frame so anyway take two <laughs> so what I thought I would do today is just show you everything that I've colored and just you know kind of show you the beginnings of my coloring journey and where I'm at now um, I'll kind of show you like how much I've improved and all that and just kind of just tell you just a few goals that I have for the channel uh, just some future things that that I'm looking to do so anyway let's go ahead and get on with the actual pages so this first coloring book now many of you may have seen this but like I said I've gotten a lot more new subscribers and so um, the new folks probably haven't seen this you know my new goldies ha ha probably haven't seen any any of these what i'm going to do is i'm just going to kind of show you everything that i have in here so this one here is from dover publications and this is um this one is called the uh, Ge geometrical designs coloring book and it is from dover publications so i have quite a few things done in here now this is one of the very first coloring books i ever got um I ended up getting three coloring books. I got this one and then uh, two others at the same time. And so this one was the one that I colored in um, for the most part. So this is what I used to kind of test out like a bunch of my pencils. I believe I did this one with my platinum pencils and I added like a little bit of stickles and stuff. Uh, just did that one a few months ago. Um, now this book has been just virtually unchanged since I actually last showed it on my channel. So I don't know. Um, I really don't know the last time I showed it on my channel. But for those of you that have been around, I'm sorry if you've seen it before. And for you new folks, you know, you get a, a little bit of a treat. This one, um, I think I did with, uh, oh, what did I do with, I think I might have done that one with polychromos. I don't remember. Um, but this is my book where I just kind of test out my different pencils. And, and this is where I practiced. This is where I played, like from the beginning. This, I think, was done with polychromos. Uh... This one here, I started testing with my Tombow Erogitans, so I um, need to definitely finish that up. I just did that little piece right there. But this paper um, actually does good for shading and stuff. Okay, this one here, I believe, was Prismacolors, and I added some stickles later on when I got stickles. Okay, so this one here, I believe, was Prismas. This here, I think, was Polychromos. So, I mean, this is like my beginning work, you know, and so you can see... Um, like what I do now, and I'll show you now this I did with my luminance. This I think turned out pretty good, Karen Dosh luminance. This one I started testing with my Karen Dosh Pablos, I believe. Okay, so like I said, this is my one of my testing. Now this one here, I am not happy with at all. This was like one of my very, 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 very first pages. Um, I tackled this with Prismacolors. It's you can definitely see the pencil lines. It's very streaky. I'm not happy with how that one came out, but um and this one i think was polychromos i think i'm not sure either polychromos or platinums this i think was polychromos this i think was prismas this diamond came out pretty nicely i think i did that one with i don't remember <laughs> um but yeah, um, this is, I think, all I have done in this book. Now, I did get quite a few done in here, um, as well as quite a few whips that I need to finish up. Um, so this one, like I said, was probably the, the book that I colored in mostly when I first started coloring as an adult. And uh, you can 
definitely see some improvement as you're going to see. This was like some of my beginning work and not quite as good as what I do now. So um, I have definitely, definitely, definitely improved over, over time. Okay, so the next book, and let me just, I'm gonna move my stack of books over here. Okay guys, I have to organize. <laughs> I have a huge stack of books over here because this is, I brought over everything that I have colored. All right, so this book here, now this is the, one of the other first coloring books I got. Um, I got this one along with um, the one I just showed you. And then I had another Mandela coloring book, which I don't think I even did anything in. Um, but anyway, this one, it just says adult coloring book and it says a coloring book for adults featuring mandalas and henna inspired flowers, animals, and paisley patterns. So I did a couple in here and I do have a whip in here, which I'll show you. So I'm just gonna kind of just quickly, now this one here, um, I did this one with Prismacolors. I am not happy with how this turned out. I was pretty happy with how I colored it in, but I didn't have any acrylic paint at the time, and so I thought I would just kind of grab some gouache and just, um, you know, try to do a background with it. And so um, I had this gouache, and um, gouache is like uh, watercolor, but it's more of an opaque, you know, kind of watercolor. And so I thought I would just try to do this background. Well, as you can see, you know, because it's a water-based paint, it totally bled through, it buckled the page. But what I'm really not happy about is that I kind of splattered it and I went over a little bit what I colored here and it just didn't turn out very even at all. So I'm just really kicking myself over this picture. I was pretty happy with how I colored it, but then the background, I just made it a hot mess. So I totally screwed up the, the background in it. Not happy about that whatsoever. Um, let me just do a quick little, I could have done like a little flip through of this book. Now, I'm not real crazy about this book, like after the fact, after I got it and stuff, and I did color a few things in it, but I just, I don't like the paper in it, and some of it's just a little bit too intricate for me, <laughs> I gotta say. Some of it's just a little bit too much. All right, so this one here, um, yeah, this one here, I started out with some gel pens. I have a set of gel pens, I think it's called Jewelescent Gel Pens, and I... I started um, I started this page with with those haven't gotten very far in it but that's what I started out in it and um, my cushion underneath me bunched up all right so I started this page out with gel pens I need to get back to that and I did do I did complete a mandala here I did this with Prismacolors I'm pretty happy with how that turned out that one was done quite a long time ago, like when I first started coloring. This is probably the second book that I colored in. The first one I showed was, that one was the one that I always went to. All right, so this one here is, um, I got this one like last year in like 2017, I think. And I needed a Valentine's coloring book, like kind of emergency-like. And so I picked this one up at Amazon because it was real inexpensive. I'm not crazy about this book. I don't like the paper in it and I just, I think it's not, um, I did do, now there's a completed picture in here. This is what I did and I believe I did this with Prismacolors and then later on I added some stickles, you know, when I got stickles. But it's double-sided pages. But as you can see, it is very out of proportion. Like, you get the picture up here but you get a lot of white space um, below the picture and each page is the same way. Like, you get you get a lot of white space kind of down below here. So when they put this together, they could have like centered the picture and then maybe made the picture a little bit bigger, but they needed to center it more because it's definitely out of proportion. But anyway, this is my completed picture that I got done in this book. And then I've got a few things that I just kind of stuck in here um, that was printed off. And this, this picture here is a whip. Now, um, I don't know what book this came out of. I went to a coloring date at our local library and so this is one of the pages that she had available. And so I started coloring on this one and I just used like whatever pencils that they had on hand. I think most of it was Crayola. So I need to get back to this one and finish this up. So that's what I have there. Now this next book is the uh, Mandala Coloring Book by Jim Gogarty. This is volume one. This is one of my go-to Mandala books because I really, really like this book. So I do have some pages in this one that I did and I will go ahead and show you those. 
So a um, couple of them I did with Anne as a buddy color. Um, we didn't do like, she didn't color out of this book, but it was like a mandala buddy color. So she colored out of a different book. I think it was a color it book and then I colored out of this book. So um, I think this one might've been one that I did with her um, or for the buddy color. I did several, um, I did several, and I think I used polychromos. So I did, I did quite a few pictures in this book and I did do a flip through of this book on my channel. Um, this one I believe was done with Prismacolors and Stickles. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly, quickly, quickly flip through. And I'm just wanting to make sure that I am in frame. I don't wanna have happen what happened before. <laughs> in fact, I think I might just tilt this camera down just slightly. Okay, so. Kind of tilt it down a little bit so and i'm doing my overhead view because i got that boom arm and that seems to help out a lot okay so i'm just quickly quickly trying to flip through i did do several in this book as you can see there's several that i haven't done or a lot that i haven't done like there's over like 100 mandalas in this book okay so this one here's another one i did and i think i might have done that one with crayolas Um, there's still a lot more that I need to do in this book, but I've done, okay, here's another one I did. That one might have been done with Prismos, I don't remember. I should have made notes like which pencils I used on them. But, um, this is one of my go-to mandala books, like when I just want to color a mandala, and, and I'll shape. Here's another one I did. So, like there's a lot of areas in there to, to do some blending and shading with and stuff, but um, this is just one of my go-to mandala books. Like when I just wanna, well, you know, when I just wanna relax and just color a mandala, you know, I will use this book. Okay, is there anything else that I did in here? Just double checking. That might, this, I think that's all the pictures that I did in here. So there's, as you can see, there's still a lot more that I need to do in this one. So that is the mandala book, um, volume one by Jim Gogarty. And I highly, highly recommend this book. I really, really, really like, um, I really like that book. All right, moving along. Now this next one I have is, it's a stained glass one. This is from Dover Publications. This is um, Old Testament scenes. And in here I did um, Adam and Eve. So I did Adam and Eve and um, I used my uh, polychromos on this one and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The only thing is um, their skin tone kind of looks like a little sort of maybe too orangey yellowish kind of, you know. Um, I could have done the skin tones I think a little bit better. Uh, sometimes with skin tones with me it's kind of hit and miss. Like sometimes I get it right on and sometimes I kind of miss my mark. <laughs> so I need practice on my skin tones. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Of course, we have the serpent, which I did in green and stuff. And then we, I put some stickles on the flowers just to make them kind of shiny. So I did Adam and Eve in this book. I will do quite a bit more in that one because I really like that book. Okay, so next we have um, the uh, Flower Pot Hashling's Coloring Book. This is by Heather Valentin. And I did a picture in here as a buddy color with Shaleen. And this was... Um, probably about a year and a half ago maybe. So I did this one with Shaleen as a buddy color and I used my uh, polychromos, I believe. And I am really happy with how he turned out. I think he turned out super cute. Even my water, I think I'm really happy with. And I believe for the background, I used um, some uh, pastels and I added some stickles, but I'm, I'm really happy with how that one came out. And I think that's all I have done in this book. But that is a Lacey Sunshine's Flower Pot Hatchlings by Heather Valentin. Yeah, I think that's all I have done in that book. So then in this book, which is Lacey Sunshine's Flower Pot Pretties, I have two pictures done in this one, two completed ones. And I did something kind of special with these. Like I actually watercolored on these. Okay, so this one I used... Um, I put some acrylic paint, some black acrylic paint on the background, and then I used um, my, I think this might have been my Neo 2s, I think. Um, either my Neo 2s or my Albert Durer watercolor pencils, and then added some polychromos over the top of it for some highlights and blending and shading and stuff. 
with acrylic paint in the background. And I did gesso the page before I did that because this book is on Create Space paper and there's no way that you can really add water to this unless you do gesso it. So I did gesso that page for coloring or for water coloring. And then same thing over here on this one, I gessoed the page. This page is gessoed. Um, and then I put blue acrylic paint for the background on this one. And then I used Albert Durer watercolor pencils and then added some polychromos over the top for, you know, some blending and shading and stuff for that. So that's what I have in that book. All right, then I've got, um, I do have some whips in these next ones. So in Secret Garden, I do have a whip in here and it's a double page spread and I used on this whip I I used um, uh, Karen Dosh Luminance pencils as well as Karen Dosh Pablo's and let me just try to find it okay here it is so it's a double page spread with some flowers and I hope you can see all that okay so this is a double page spread with some flowers and again, um, I use Luminance pencils as well as Karen Dosh Pablo's. So I need to get back to this because I do want to finish this up. I'm really liking how it's coming out. I think it's coming out really pretty. Okay, but that was started some time back and I just haven't gone back to finishing. Um, I love Johanna Basford, but the only thing is, is like sometimes her stuff can be really intricate and, um, and I, I have to kind of color it like when I don't have a headache or anything because after I do color it I tend to get like eye strain and, a, and sometimes a headache so I have to kind of be like at, at the top of my game to to kind of get back into coloring those but I do love it and I'm happy with how it's turning out all right so in Johanna's Christmas I do have um, a whip that I have started and um, it is this ornaments page in Johanna's Christmas and so I used uh, polychromos in this so I've only got two of the ornaments done. I need to get back to that and finish that. And then um, I've got a whip in Romantic Country. And I kind of started coloring this one with Stephanie. Um, I think she got hers done, but um, mine is not nearly completed. So anyway, this is what I've got done so far. Not too far into it. But um, what I'm trying to do is I saw somebody color... Um, like somebody completed this whole book and I watched a, a video flip through of it. And so I loved how they did their sky. Like they had some yellows and oranges and, and, and reds and all that. And so I'm trying to do that with the sky, you know, and I, and I got like halfway through and it's kind of abruptly stopped, but I'm trying to do that with the sky. It's not turning out like I want it to turn out. Like the one that I saw in the video was much, much prettier, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to work with it a little bit. And so then I just got the top of this building done and then I got my I got my grass done. I'm kind of liking like how my grass looks right there. So um, this is the whip that I have in uh, Romantic Country. Okay, so then um, the next things that I'm going to show, let me grab this next stack here. So I have a couple of whips in this uh, Creative Haven book. This is Designer Desserts. And I do have a couple of whips in this one. I need to actually complete these pictures because um, I think they're super cute. So this is the first one that I have um, probably about halfway done in designer desserts. This is what I, the first one that I started and I started this one with Prismas. Okay, so that one needs to be completed. And then um, this one here, I also started with Prismas. I'm about, I'd say a little bit over halfway done on this one. So I need to go back and complete this, uh, this cake. So I have two whips in designer desserts that I need to go back in and finish up. Okay. Now in antique dolls, I have a couple of them done in here, plus I have a whip, okay? So I did this one here in a color along uh, quite some time back, and I used my Tombow Erogitins, I believe, and then I added some stickles. And then as a buddy color with Stephanie, try to find it uh, let's see where is it now um, as a buddy color with Stephanie um, I did this one and I used my Arteza pencils on this one I believe and I really like how she came out I think she came out really really super cute 
And then also when I was actually talking with Stephanie, when we were talking over the phone, I started this one and I started this one with my Prismas. <coughs> now, um, this one is supposed to be a bride and normally the stereotypical bride will wear white. However, um, if I were to just color this in like all white, like, you know, the, the pencil just wouldn't show up and, you know, she just wouldn't be very colorful. So I decided to kind of make, um, you know, do some different colors and just, you know, make her look a little different. So, um, so far I think she's turning out really pretty. And even though like she's not wearing white as a bride, you know, I think she's still turning out really pretty. And so I will get back into finishing her. So that's in Antique Dolls. Okay, so in this one book here, this is Dogs. This is a stained glass coloring book. This is from Dover Publications and I have a whip in here. So this first page I did, this is the picture of the labs and I did this in Holbein's. I need to go back in and finish the grass and do the border. So I'm kind of getting close to being done, um, but I do need to finish this up. So that was done with Holbein's in Dogs Stained Glass Coloring Book. <coughs> now in this princess coloring book, this is also from Dover Publications, I have a whip in here. And this one is a double page spread that I started. And I started it with you guys on camera and I was using my Tombow or Rogitin pencils. And I started this with you guys on camera and then after I was done, um, oh, and on the brickwork, I also used the, the, the uh, Koinor Tritones on the brickwork and stuff. And then on the columns, I grabbed a couple of grays from the whole bind set and just colored the columns with that. But most of this is like done with the Tombow or Rogitin pencils like this up here. The, all this down here. This will be done with the with the Tombow Rogitans. So anyway, like after I <clears throat> began this picture with you guys on camera, I took a lot of like one afternoon and just, you know, kept working on this. And I'm kind of taking my own little sweet time with this <coughs> because I really want this to come out nice. And um, I'm, I'm really happy with how, with how it's turning out so far. And I remember in one of Anne's videos, um, Anne from A Colorful Life, um, she was talking about this picture and, and how stunningly beautiful she thought it, it was, you know, it was that it was, you know, so far. And so I really, um, I really appreciated that. And um, I think, um, I think it's coming out very, very nice. And I'm very happy with, with what I'm doing here with it. Um, but I still do have quite a lot to finish up there. So I will get back to that one. Okay. So the next book is Celtic Knot Work. And this is also a stained glass one from Dover Publications. And now I did several in this book. However, I took them out and put them in my binder, which we will actually see a little bit later on. So um, when I show the binder, I'll name the books that the pictures uh, came from and so forth. But I do have, I think, one in here that, that I did that I still kept in the that I still kept in the book, at least for now. Um, my goal is to, to get them all done and then just kind of take them all out and put them in the binder. So, um, I have this one here that I did, and I believe I did this one with, um, what did I do this one in? Holy smoke. Um, polychromos, I think. I don't remember. But this is the one that, that's still in the book. Now, like I said, I do have several done, but I took them out of the book and put them in my binder. So, I think this is all that I have in the book that's been done. Um, I think that's everything in this book. The rest of the ones from this book that I did are in the binder. Okay. So Rose Windows by Creative Haven. And this one, um, I've done several in this one. I really, really like this book. Okay, here's one that I did, and I think I did it in uh, Prismacolors. It's either Prismacolors or Polychromos that I did this one. And let's see what else I have. Um, I think I did like three of them in this book. So here's another one that I did. And I don't remember which pencils I used. That I don't remember. But in this book, you can see that here's an uncolored one. But as you can see, they've got the shading in there for you. So you can just go over it with the pencil and it will shade up very very nicely this book is also really good with markers you could use markers on it 
<clears throat> so I used um, touch soft markers on this one. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it came out except for like the bigger pieces here. I should have used a lighter color because I kind of colored up like all the, the shading, you know, when I used the darker color, but it's, it's an okay picture. I might try it again with, with markers. But as you can see, because it is, um, because the touch soft markers or alcohol markers, it will bleed through like so. It did bleed through on the other side, but they're single-sided pages, so it's really not that big of a deal. And that's, I think, all I have done in this book. Okay. So Sleeping Beauty. Um, this is a Sleeping Beauty coloring book, and I have one picture done in this one. And I used uh, Crayola crayons. Now this picture I did when I was doing a Crayola challenge, Crayola crayon challenge. So um, several of us were, were, uh, were doing that. And so my story was, now a lot of them, when they were doing it, the elves came and took all of their coloring books and all of their supplies and just left them with one book and a box of crayons and they could get their coloring books and supplies back if they finished up a, um, a page with Crayola crayons. So my story was like when I did the challenge and I'm a big Harry Potter fan. So my story was that Bellatrix Lestrange contracted a bunch of Cornish pixies who came to my house and took all of my lovely coloring books and all my beautiful supplies. And they left me with just this one book along with a box of crayons. And the only way that I would get my stuff back is if I completed a page with the, with the crayons in this book and then um, the Pixies would bring my stuff back. And she did that because she didn't like how I was talking about Draco Malfoy because I cannot stand Draco. And she hated it that I was bad mouthing her for killing Dobby. So she got revenge on me and took all of my stuff. But I got it back and I'm good to go. So anyway, this page is what I used um, for the Crayola Crayon Challenge. And I think it turned out really nice um, considering the medium that I had to use. <laughs> All right, so um, this next one, let me see here. Um, this, this next book is a Dollar General book, and this is um, Coloring Flowers. And I just have a, a whip in this book. And I was just messing with some, some Crayola pencils. And so this is a page of roses. And so what I thought I would do is, you know, pretend that they were white roses and then they were just dyed different colors. So I'm going to finish this up with some Crayolas and just, you know, do some blending and shading with them and make them like all different colors, you know, have all different colored roses. And I'm either going to finish this up on my own or I may, I may even um, come on here with a color and gab and do that. I don't know. I haven't decided. I'll just see what I'm in the mood for, but I will get back to finishing that picture up. Okay. Now, the next book that I have is, um, let's see, the next one that I've got here is Coloriage Wild, and I do have one completed picture in here. Um, I did, the, did this one as a buddy color with Katrina Belgum, and I used Holbein's for this picture, and I'm really happy with how that one came out. <clears throat> next is Unicorns Are Jerks, and I got this book because of Corey Scherer. <laughs> Excuse me, I got a little, um, my, my throat's kind of dry today. But um, I got this book because of Corey Share, And this is just kind of a funny, sort of smart alecky, snarky book. But I've got a completed picture in here as well as a whip. And let me just find that. Um, let's see. Okay, let me find the completed page. Okay, so here, and I got something sort of marking everything. Okay, so here is the completed page. Now, um, as you will see on the bottom of the page, there is a caption on each page. And this one here says, unicorns sing breakup songs around you when you've just been dumped. So we've got the unicorn kind of singing with the guy sitting at the desk with the Kleenex in front of him and stuff. So um, I've completed this page. I think I use polychromos on this one. And then um, over here, uh, let's see. Over here on this page is the whip, and I think I also use polychromos. This one is the one with the ball pit that I was telling you guys that I wanted to color. And so this caption says, unicorns monopolize the ball pit and don't let anyone else in. So we've got the kid who wants to get inside the ball pit, and then there's a unicorn inside it, you know, with the hooves and stuff sticking up. So I colored um, the ball pit blue, and then I'm working on the balls here. So I've still got a long way to go to get this one done, but I was using polychromos on that one. Okay, so the next set of books 
are the Tim Jeffs books and um, I did these when we did the the color along um, I co-hosted the intricate animals in April color along this year with with Anne from a colorful life and so I did a picture in I did one picture in in each of the volumes I also did a picture in his sketchbook which I will show I've got that in my um, my binder so here is the cheetah from volume one and I used my um, polychromos I think on no, I think I used my Prismas on this one, I think. I think I used my Prismas on this one. So here is the picture from Volume 1. Okay, so then in Volume 2, in Volume 2, I remember, I think I did the Flamingo. Uh, yep, I did the, whoops, where did we go here? All right, Mr. Flamingo, where did you go? Okay, here he is. So I did the Flamingo, and I believe I used the uh, Prismacolors on this one. Here's the Flamingo from Volume 2. And then in, um, let's see how to, how to do this here. Okay, so then in Volume 3, here's Volume 3. Um, and I've got a autographed copy. In volume three, I did the blue heron. <laughs> I can find him. Okay. Oh, here he is. Okay. So here is the blue heron from volume three. Here's the blue heron from volume three. And then I'll show you the one from his sketchbook when I get to that in my binder. Okay, the next book here I have is Wine Life. And I have a whip in here that I started on camera with you guys. And I colored a little bit of it off camera, but I need to finish it up. So here is what we have for the whip in this book. And this is on Create Space Paper. Um, I believe I used polychromos on this one. And this has just got a bunch of letters, and like a bunch of words. It says... Don't ever think you've let's see, don't ever think you have it that bad. Someone in the world just ran out of wine. <laughs> um what did it say? Someone someone in the world somewhere okay. Don't ever think you have it that bad. Somewhere in the world, someone just ran out of wine. So I wanted to make sure I read it right. So I, I started with polychromos, I believe, in here. And then I colored, um, I need to finish doing the letters, and then I have the background with the pencils and stuff to do here. So I've, I've got a long ways to go uh, before this picture is finished, but that's what I got started in this book. So that's kind of a snarky, kind of funny book there. All right, so next we have, um, I'm going to show you what I did for Sweet Colorful Christmas. Again, it was a co-hosted color along with Anne from A Colorful Life, but we did this back in 2017. So in Sherry Baldy's Warm Christmas Nights, I have a completed picture in it. Here is what I did in this book. Um, the background is pan pastels. And then I used, I think, my um, uh, either my Lyra Rembrandt pencils or my polychromos in this. And I'm, I'm really, I mean, she turned out super cute. I really like how she turned out. I think she's super cute. And then in the uh, Tear Non No Log by Edwina McNamee, I used my Lyra Rembrandts in here. And I have one completed picture as well as one whip. So here's the completed picture. And um, I did this with my Lyra Rembrandt pencils and added some stickles onto the, the presents right there. Okay. And I do have a whip. Uh, I started the, I started this page here, whoops, I started this page here again, I believe with my Lyra Rembrandts, and I just got two of the stocking, two of the stockings done, um, I started the stocking, I need to finish that up, and I need to finish up the rest of the stockings, so, um, I'll finish that up, uh, probably this year, okay, <coughs> Oh, goodness. So then in Ugly Holiday Sweaters, um, I completed a picture in here with uh, Prismacolors. This is the sweater that was on the front of this book. So I completed this picture with uh, Prismacolors for Sweet Colorful Christmas. 
Okay, and then for the color along with Anne Monera, um, I do have um, I do I do have a, a couple of pictures in here, plus a couple in my binder that I'll show a little bit later on. But I do have a a finished piece in here um, in this book that I'm about to show you. Okay, so this one is from uh, Meraki. This is one of her new books that is out, and I still got my wax paper in here because I was I put some acrylic paint on it. <coughs> oh goodness me! <coughs> but I used um, polychromos on the mandala itself. Now this book it's very very thick, and I did a flip through of it on my channel, but it's very thick. And this is a collection of pictures from a bunch of her different books. This one I think came from one called Super simple mandalas or something like that and so I just I did this with polychromos and then put some black metallic acrylic paint on the background right there so that's one of the pictures that I did for the color along um, with Anne Monera we're still in the middle of that one that's going to end on June 15th and today I'm recording this on Friday June 8th so we've got like one more week for the color along and so this was the first page that I did for her color along featuring her artwork. Uh, well, it's my color along, but it's featuring her artwork. And so then in Floral Mosaic 2, we are working on, um, oh my gosh, and I think I forgot one of the books. I'm going to have to go get that. So we're this one in Floral Mosaic 2, we are working on um, this page. Let me turn it this way. We're working on this page, and I believe I'm using my Oh my gosh, what am I using on this thing? I'm going to have to go back and look at the video. What the heck am I using? Um, oh. Holy cow. I don't remember what I'm using on this, this picture. Holy crap. All right, so I'm going to have to go back and look at the pencils that I used on this, but this is what we got done so far. Um, I'm doing this with you guys on camera, and we will continue, we will continue with that. Um, and uh, we'll try to finish it up in part two, but that is from Floral Mosaic 2. And I'm missing a book, so I have to go try to hunt down that book because I do have a completed picture in that. So just give me a second. I will be right back. Okay, so then out of this book, this is Doggy Mosaic by Ann Manera. Um, I knew I was missing a book because I'm going, wait a minute, I colored another picture for her color along. But anyway, um, I went and, and grabbed this book, but this is Doggy Mosaic coloring book, and I did complete a picture with you guys on camera. This I think was the second picture that I did for the color along. So I think I used polychromos on this. And so this is what we have in this book. All right. So now this next book, now this is, um, this next book, um, this, I, <laughs> I have a couple of the sweary word coloring books and so I'm sorry you know if, if you're kind of offended by that you know then try to, then you'll have to kind of gloss over this but um anyway um I have this book and uh it's uh it says bitch on the front cover and I do have a um I do have a finished work in here and it's pretty tame considering what this is there's some in here that are pretty foul <laughs> but um I do have a completed picture in here and I'll just, I'll go ahead and show you guys that because it's pretty tame, really. And it says piss off. And I used, I think, polychromos on this. And I put some stickles on it. And so I color, um, I have several of these things. And so I will color in these, like, if I'm just really, really pissed at something or um, or if I'm just really frustrated, you know, because I, I need, um, it, it kind of gives me a little bit of a laugh. But anyway, so that's, that's that. Okay, so... Now, um, I have um, this Emoji Crazy coloring book, and I do have a couple that are done in here. One of them is in this uh, journal that I'm going to show you, but um, I do have one that is still here in the book that I need to actually get into my journal. So I did this one here, and I did this one with my whole binds that I did some time back. I did that one with my whole binds. I thought that came out really cute. So that is in Emoji Crazy. And I need to get that one into my little journal. Um, okay, so in, oh look, it's Wine O'Clock. Now this is from uh, Newborn Media, as is the Emoji Crazy book. Those are from the same publisher. This is from Newborn Media. This one actually came with the pencils. And I have a whip in this book. I think I was doing like a little demo or something with you guys on camera, like when I was showing the pencils and stuff. So I have, is it this picture here? 
Uh, yeah. So I was doing a little demo with this picture right here with the included pencils and they're not very pigmented. They kind of hurt your hands. They're not the greatest of pencils. So I'm probably going to go over with my Prismas or something and just kind of make it a little bit brighter and, and finish that picture up sometime. So that is in, oh, look, it's wine o'clock. Wine o'clock, not one o'clock. Oh, look, it's wine o'clock. Um, and then let's see what else I have here. Do I have any more? Okay, so I'm going to grab my binder. Let me grab my binder. And you know, actually I'll show you what's in this journal first because I'm because it's a little bit more handier. So um, I have this huge, 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 huge journal, and it's a paper blanks journal, and I'm hoping that it gets in frame right there. There we go. So I have this huge, huge journal, and um, it's a big paper blanks journal. It's got the clasp on the side right there to, to open it. And so it's it's uh, you don't really see the size journal very often. Um, it's bigger. It, it, I think this one was meant to be maybe a sketchbook or something like that. So anyway, um, I do have several pictures in this one and I don't know if I have anything in the pocket because this, this one comes with a pocket. Oh, I know what I have here in the pocket. Um, I have here this little Mandela's coloring book and I have, um, I took it apart because you're going to see that I have um, most of it completed. There is one picture that I still need to color and I will do that. So I keep it I keep it in the, the back pocket of this journal just to kind of keep it nice and so that it doesn't, um, you know, so that it doesn't, uh, you know, screw up or anything. So I'm going to put it back in the in the little pocket just to just to keep it nice. And I will color that and then that book will be complete. But that is one of the little stained glass ones. So anyway, let me show you what I have in here. So <laughs> I was just kind of goofing off and um, I used to now way, way back, you know, when I started coloring, um, I, um, I went through a phase where I would put, um, I wouldn't actually color in my books. I would actually copy the picture that I wanted to color onto some other paper and then color it that way. You know, that way I could keep the original book intact. However, I got over that and I thought, you know what, I have so many books, you know, and I just, I need to color in them. So anyway, what I did was I took a picture from the geometric book, you know, the very first book I, sh I showed you guys, and the whole picture would not fit in here. Um, so I kind of cut some of it off and this is what I pasted in here. And I was playing with like some, some brush pens and I don't like how it turned out, um, especially having to cut it apart. Same thing over here came out of the geometric book. I was playing with the some brush pens and I just have the dates like when I completed it and, and what material that I used. Um, not too happy with that, how that came out. Now over here I have um, what I showed you out of that back pocket is the little mandalas stained glass book. And so I when I complete the pictures, I put them over here in, in the journal. And so what I do is I put the date that it's completed and then I, I put like what pencil I used on it because I will use like all different kinds of pencils. Like for instance, this one appears ink tents. Um, I have like Prismacolors. And so um, there's like, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's like eight pictures in that little bitty book. So there's four of them right there. And then here's seven of them. I need to complete that last one, which will go there. And then over here, I have one of the um, pieces from Emoji Crazy that I put into this book. And I believe I used my Pablos with uh, with some Neo 2s, like I did some Neo 2s with it, and then I used my Pablos on top of it for some shading and, and some stickles. And I think that's all I have in this little journal. I plan to put some more in here. But um, there's still a lot room, a lot more room to go to put some other things in there. Okay, now let me go ahead and grab my binder, and I will show you that. So I'm probably going to end up having to take out um, the pictures because it's probably going to glare. It's probably going to glare. Let me just see how it's going to work, and let me just make sure it's in frame. Okay, so opening it up. Um, I do have a couple of whips. This one I have I um, is from uh, Jennifer Stay's website, and I was playing with some chameleon markers on there, so I need to finish that up. And then this one I was playing with some ink tents, and I think I did a lot of this with you guys on camera. I was playing with some ink tents, I think, or, yeah, ink tents. And Stephanie wanted to see that, so I need to complete that picture. But um, anyway, so we have... 
and it's not glaring too bad. Uh, it's not glaring too bad. So anyway, over here I have this picture here. It came from one of my fairy coloring books and it, um, I used a set of pencil called Voyage Colored Pencils and they were very, very budget friendly. There came 50 in a pack and I hated those pencils with a passion. Like I think this was like the only picture that I colored with them and I, it, it just killed my hand. Um, I had to press down so hard to get any kind of pigment out of them. They would not blend worth a crap. So I got rid of them things in a hurry. I hated how um, I hated how they, they put down, but I did end up finishing this fairy with those pencils and then got rid of the pencils very, very quickly. Okay, so turning the page, um, over here I have another fairy that um, I did with, okay, let me move the binder over here. I have another fairy that I did with um, my Carbothello pastel pencils from Stabilo. And I'm just kind of moving it so hopefully it's not glaring too much. I have them all in page protectors. And then over here, I have another little fairy that came out of another one of my fairy books. And I think I did that one with, uh, uh, what did I, polychromos maybe? Okay, so then this fairy over here on the left-hand side of the page, um, I believe I did this one with uh, Prismacolors. And, uh, and, I'm, and, and some stickles. I did add some stickles onto her wings and her dress a little bit. And I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Um, she turned out really cute. I like how her dress came out. Not too sure about the grass. Um, I needed to work a little bit more on that grass, I think, right there. But that's, that's the fairy. Came out of one of my fairy books. And this is when I was copying the pages onto different paper. So I copied them and then just put them in the binder. So then over here um, is a picture that I copied from the geometric book. And I wanted to kind of play with, um, to see how like Crayola and Prismas look together. And cause I don't mind Crayola and of course I love my Prismas, but this over here, like if you look, this is, this is the Prisma color. And then this over here is Crayola. So as you can see, it looks very kind of washed out. Let me move that so that we can see without glaring, hopefully. Um, but you can see that the Crayola looks very, very washed out compared to the uh, Prismacolor. And um, on the background, I did some ink tints. Um, I did some ink tints, and so the paper definitely buckled, but um, it's, it doesn't matter too much, you know, being that it's in the, the sheet protector. Okay, so then these two over here, or this one over here on the left, um, I believe I did with Prismacolors, and this came out of the, the geometric book that I showed you. I was just kind of playing with that one. This one over here on the right was a picture that I started at, um, I did a, a coloring day over at the library, um, or went to a coloring day over at our local library, and this was one of the pages that was available. <coughs> and I, I started it with the uh, pencils that they had on hand, and then um, I got about half of it done and then came home to finish the rest of it with my Crayolas, because I think that pretty much what they had on hand over there was, was mainly Crayolas, and so then, um, when I came home to finish it, that's what I used was uh, Crayola pencils. Okay, so then this over here is um, a mandala that I did from the Color It book. Um, mandala, um, Coloring Mandalas Volume 1, I think it was called, and it was from Color It. And so I used um, Touch Soft markers on this one, on the whole thing. And as we can see, um, because it is alcohol markers, it bled through on the other side. So I do need to get another picture from that book and put it on the back. Um, so this one here is from Celtic Knotwork from the stained glass book that I showed you guys. Um, and I think I used Luminance on this one. And here is another one from the Celtic Knotwork, I think. And then here is another one from the Celtic Knotwork over here on the left. And I kind of screwed that one up a little bit. Like I didn't quite get it symmetrical. <laughs> screwed it up just a little bit. And then over here is a koala that I did from uh, Tim Jeff's um, sketchbook series, volume two. And so I used my whole binds and then um, I put some gold metallic acrylic paint for the background. So I did that one for the color along um, that I hosted with uh, Anne from A Colorful Life when we did the intricate animals. And then here is, now this one I'm, I, I uh, did for the color along for Anne Monera. And this one, this one came from her color along series volume eight. 
and I'm not real happy with how this one turned out. I was using the Arteza brush pens and I kind of worked it up a bit. So I'm not real happy with how that one came out. But this one over here, now this is the same picture and I just printed it out again a second time. Now what happened is I have a story to tell you guys. So I did this one, I completed this one on a, a video, like I completed this one on camera with you guys. And again, this is from the Color Along series, volume eight. And again, I used the Arteza brush pens on this one. This one came out much better than the first attempt. Now I did actually make a video coloring this one, but the footage wasn't good because my head got in the way probably like 90% of the time. So I scrapped it and then I printed the picture out again and decided to take a second crack at it. The video and the picture came out much better the second time out. So this is what I came up with. Um, that is from her Color Along series volume eight. And this is everything in the binder that I have so far. I do have a couple more things to show you guys. And then we'll talk about like some future stuff going on on the channel. So let me grab the other stuff and I will be right back. All right, so the next thing that I got here is this um, mandala coloring book. This is a pocket mandalas. It says a uh, pocket mandala coloring book. And I picked this thing up off of Amazon. It was just a little bitty travel size coloring book. And um, it's just got a, you know, just some cute mandalas in it. The only thing is the paper in it really, 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 really sucks. And so you have to really be careful with this paper. It is, I think, even thinner than like the regular Create Space paper. It is like super, super, super thin. So I do have uh, a couple of finished pieces in here that I'll go ahead and show you guys. Now, um, this one here, um, now, <laughs> This one looks really bad, okay? Um, I colored this with some um, some markers that I got from like International Imports, and I actually picked them up from Amazon, but the company is called International Imports, and it was just like, um, they were kind of like little fine liners, I guess, and they're pretty nice markers. I mean, the markers aren't bad. Like, I don't mind the markers at all. However, because this paper is really bad quality, um, they did not work very well on this paper. And as I was coloring it, I mean, it was tearing up the fabric of the paper and it was just peeling up the paper. I mean, it was just, it turned into a hot mess. So because the paper tore, you can see that it kind of just went through on the back side. I mean, it was just a total disaster. So don't, if you get this book, like don't color um, with markers in here. And I do have another one in here that I did finish. Um, and I did use some pencils on it. And I will show you that even, even using pencils on it can be a bit of a pain. Okay, here it is. So what I used on this one here, um, now you can see like right there, the paper kind of tore. And I wasn't really coloring very hard on it, but because this paper is so thin and such bad quality, it just, it tore. And you can see the, you can see the tear right there on the back part right there. So even you, even using pencils on this can, can, um, can screw up your paper. So this paper, it's a cute book, but the paper sucks. I'm going to tell you that the paper in this book sucks. So what I used in here was this little bitty travel set of Tombow pencils. These are not the Erogitin line, but these are just some travel set of Tombow pencils. There's 12 pencils in here. Um, it's hard as a nail. They're not the best pencils at all. They're they're very very hard, and you have to press you know pretty hard to actually get you know some pigment out. Um, on here, like I didn't press too terribly hard. I mean, I had to press enough to get the color out, which tore the page, but. Uh, like I didn't press as hard as I could have. So I did use these pencils on this page, and um, the you know they're not the greatest quality pencils, but if you're you know, if you just want something to just kind of throw in your bag, like you could put this book and these sets of pencil very easily in your purse and it'll do in a pinch, like it'll get the job done. You just have to kind of be careful with them, you know, but anyway, they're cute little pencils and this is a cute little book, but anyway, so the last thing that I'm going to show is this little hearts stained glass coloring book. I did get a couple of pictures done in here and so I did, um, let's see, this picture here. I did with you guys on camera with the Crayola brand signature colored pencils. They're the ones that, that, that are black. They're like black pencils. I think they're black or dark blue. And they're kind of a step above like the regular Crayola pencils. And um, so I have that set. And I, I did do um, another picture. 
in here. Now this one, I did, I did make a video for this one. I used the Strokes Art Colored pencils on this one, and I hated them on this paper. Um, I do, it's the Strokes Art Colored pencils, but I hated them on this paper. Now I did make a video of this coloring. Um, however, I forgot that I had that footage, and so I forgot to put it up, and it's, a, it's actually a very old coloring gab. However, I will go ahead and put that up so that you guys can see it, um, but I did, um, finished this picture with the Strokes Art pencils and hated them on this paper, really, really hated them on this paper. And I will go ahead and, and upload the video of this coloring uh, pretty soon. So those are all of my finished pages and whips up to, from the from the very beginning of my coloring journey up to, up to now. Um, and let me go ahead and just put something over here on this table as I talk to you guys so that you don't have to just keep looking at my table. Um, so that's, everything that I have colored up to up to now from the very beginning of when I started coloring as an adult up to now and like I said I try to do this um, I don't remember the last time I left off doing a coloring update like that I used to try to do it like once a month and I'm gonna try to get back into doing that um, but because I couldn't remember like where I left off, I just decided to just drag everything out and just kind of show you guys from the beginning up to current, you know, just from the very beginnings up to the, the current um, where I'm at now in my coloring. So as you guys can probably see, I have improved greatly since coloring in that geometrics book. <laughs> um, so that's from like start to finish of everything that I have ever colored. I still have a lot more to color and I have quite a few pictures to finish up as far as whips go. And um, my goal this year was to actually color in uh, 20 books that I have not touched. And I'm doing pretty good at that. Like um, I, the goal was to either do it with you guys on camera as well as off camera. And I think I'm doing pretty good with it. Um, I've gotten, um, I'm trying to color like one page out of uh, 20 books that I have not touched for 2018 and I'm doing pretty good at it, I think. And so I still have more to do and I will keep doing that. But um, so I'm going to keep working on that goal and just, you know, color in some books that I have not colored in yet. Because as you guys know, I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of books and I still have part six of my coloring book collection to show you guys, which I will get that going as well. So I do have many, 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 many coloring books and many of them have not been touched yet, which um, I want to remedy that. Um, but I did want to go ahead and show you everything that I've colored. Uh, both completed and um, in whip format. <coughs> whip means work in progress. Um, so I'm going to keep doing this. Hopefully we'll be able to do this on a monthly basis and just kind of keep going like where I left off. Um, a couple of things that I want to do for the channel is definitely a lot more color and gabs. I want to do um, a lot more uh, color alongs, maybe some challenges. Um, I do want to feature some indie artists. You know, I do want to definitely feature some indie artists because I don't think they get the love that, um, say, that Johanna Basford gets or like Kirby gets. So I really think it's important to spotlight some indie artists, like what I've been doing with um, with Anne Manera in May and um, in the first half of June. So. Um, look for some of that. Look for some more uh, WIP work, you know, f more of a whip work. I used to do a WIP Wednesday or whip Wednesday. I keep wanting to say WIP, but I used to do quite a lot of whip Wednesday. And I kind of got out of that like when I did, you know, like when I started doing the, the color along and stuff. And um, I just, I haven't gotten back to that, which I plan to get back to whip Wednesday. I think that would be nice because I do have several that I need to finish up. Um, so, there's going to be, uh, you're still going to be seeing haul videos as soon as I am able to do some more hauls. Um, that's kind of on the back burner right now because I am trying to fix up my art room. And so when that is all fixed up, I will give a little tour of that. Um, I got my um, Lexington cart in, um, which is kind of the, equi the Michael's equivalent of the Raskog cart from Ikea. And so when I get that put together and organized, I'll do like a little tour of that, which um, I think a lot of people would enjoy seeing, I hope anyway. Um, I enjoy seeing videos like that. So some exciting stuff coming up on the channel. We're gonna get back into the whips, uh, Whip Wednesday. Um, we're gonna spotlight some more indie, indie artists. Um, we're gonna talk about some of their books and, and so forth. So be on the lookout for that and um, be on the lookout for just, you know, some other coloring gabs and just 
a lot of just very, very exciting things. And I'll keep you guys updated on my goal for coloring in 20 books that I have not touched. And I'll keep showing you guys my completed pictures and whips and stuff. So anyway, that concludes this video. Um, if there's anything that you guys want to see on this channel, if there's anything in particular that you want to see, um, I'm going to try to get back to the flip throughs of the books as well because it's been quite a while since I've done a flip through. Um, I'll be getting back into those. So if there's anything that you want to see on this channel, you know, please do let me know and we'll try to get to that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my whips and completed coloring pages. So you guys have a great day. Subscribe to this channel and by subscribing you become a goldie, which is what I call my subscribers because I love golden retrievers. So while you are subscribing, hit that bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. Of course, hit that thumbs up button because by doing that, that totally helps my channel on YouTube. Uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think. You all have a great day and we will talk to you in the next video. Okay, bye my little goldies.